welcome to another unboxing. Today we have something we haven't done in a very long time and that is unboxing a subscription box. As a lot of you know that, I want to say towards the beginning of this channel, we did a lot of unboxings for Snack Crate and that was cool. Like we got to try a lot of snacks that we never would have gotten the chance to unless we did that. But I felt like there wasn't enough variety to it. But today, today is a different box entirely. Today we are going to be unboxing the um, Soul Box, which I have been wanting to do for so long, but financially couldn't justify it. So I finally got that chance to actually like order it, and I'm actually super excited to open it along with you and see what's inside. This one also came with a, like, it was a limited time thing during Black Friday sale. They had like a free gift. So, I'm assuming, oh, okay. I'm just like looking in the box because like yes, this is the this is the free gift and it's got something inside and it says K-pop is my life. We got both the cats excited right now. Both of them came out. <laughs> so there's that. But like if you look in this box, like that's a that's a thick box. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. So yes, I got the Soul Box Signature, which was $39.50. So I might keep it, I might not, it depends on finances, but I wanted to try it out at least once because like as the paper uh, as the bag says, K-pop is my life. And like honestly, I, I love I love I like everything that's with the with, whoo, talking is hard uh, I honestly just love like everything revolving around like k-pop and like k-dramas and just Korean culture in general is really cool and oh the food the food is where they get me because that's just deliciousness all over but I will stop rambling because I'm very good at that. And get right into this. I also like the fact that that sticker came off really easily. Like, and there's no like sticky residue. That is my least favorite thing. Oh my god. This is so good. Like this, I don't even know what this is. There's, there's a few things in here. <laughs> First item I pulled out is a BTS. It looks like it's a eyeglass cleaner. Kind of reminds me of that, uh, that texture a little bit. If I can get it open real quick. It, it totally is. It's a uh, little eyeglass cleaner thing for BTS and it says dynamite. And very, it's very pretty and like, I love the texture honestly. So that's the first thing we got. The second thing, Ooh. engine, oh god, so I will admit that like, I know some, some groups, but not as much, engine is in hyphen, I believe, This is helping me. Ha ha! It is. It is in hyphen. I do like in hyphen quite a bit, but. Oh. So I got a little sticker pack. Probably won't open up everything all together. I also want to do that with like the little like cloth to make sure it was. I got another BTS thing and it's a 
keychain. That's Jungkook. I'm I'm hoping for something Stray Kids and a Tease just cause they're my main group. Got another BTS thing, the BT21. And I got Timmy. I'm trying to show this and not let it be so shiny. That kinda helped a little bit. Looks like another little key fob or key chain. My brain's doing great. I don't actually know who this is, but I'm sorry. Uh, anyone who knows who this is in the comments below, please let me know. They are very, very pretty. I will say that. I feel like I should know. It's probably gonna. I'm probably gonna kick myself later, but. Unfortunately, it's not coming to my mind right now. And then, I just feel like a deck of cards. It's because it is. And oh! My god! Oh my god! <laughs> Remember how I said I was hoping for something Stray Kids or a tease? I got something Stray Kids. I'm so happy I could cry! Oh! I'm trying to open it so quickly. So it is Stray Kids 5 Star and it's got 55 uh, photo cards. Oh my goodness, I did not realize how metallic that is. I'm trying to show you without it being... You can kind of see it. Maybe I'll take a picture and like add it in post. <laughs> Just, oh, you can kind of almost see it. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. I can't wait to go through these. I need to figure out a way to actually, like, go through and, like, organize all the photo cards that I've gotten since I've gotten into K-pop. Because, well, let me tell you, they're, like, randomly posted around my house. <laughs> it's such a problem. <laughs> Not a bad problem to have, but such a problem all in all. <laughs> But that is it for the variety, like the like free gift. Oh nope, I was wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Looks like there's two more things in here, and we got two BTS uh, bracelets. Looks like they're the same bracelet, just. Yeah, they're the same bracelet. And it's like those really cool rubber ones. They got like super popular out of nowhere. But yeah, that's that's what we got for our free gift. I will say for the free gift, I the only thing I wish is like I like BTS, don't get me wrong. I just wish there was more variety, just not just with BTS. Because like and just this alone this is before we got we get to the big box. I have technically two, three, four, five things BTS and then three things that are not BTS. So that's my only thing so far. But honestly, like even though it is so much BTS, I do know people that like BTS a little bit more than me that I can just I can give the, I can gift that to them, which is perfect because it is the holiday season and yeah it kind of works out so that is it for a free gift and I also love this bag like I feel like these bags were super popular for a while and then like kind of fell away and I would love for them to make a comeback because I love them so much so that is it for that one my my favorite item is a hundred percent the the like PC like the photo cards. Though I do like the um, BTS uh, glass cleaner because I need I need one of those really bad. <laughs> but now we are on to the big box, which I'm so excited for. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That is so pretty. This is a thick box. I'm trying to show this. Oh. Welcome to Korea. I'm like watching my cat, make sure he's not doing anything he's not supposed to. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got a peek in there, but held up. Show the first. I can't read backwards, so I'm going to turn that around. But that is packed. Oh my goodness. From the streets of Seoul, straight to your door. It says, leave a review and win. So I might have to do that. Oh my god. Like, that is so pretty. And thick. Like, I was not expecting that. Like, it's like you just stepped into a webtoon, which makes sense. But, let's get right into this. I'm so excited. I don't even know it again. I guess what's in my hand. Which are these Cheetos looking snacks. Then I will get into my guide. So yes, it is a Conchi corn cream cheese. There's an extra E in cheese, so we, we this is gonna be interesting. The snack is inspired by fondue. It is made of corn snack infused with the smoothness of cream cheese. Oh no, and cheesy topping. The occasional black speck speck are just Sarah. I'm I'm good at reading, I'm sorry. Um, corn kernels indulge in each bite. Okay. Maybe? Maybe? Ooh. It's very, it's lighter, definitely a lighter smell than like Cheetos Puffs. And they're also like lighter in color. I know like it doesn't help. There we go. You can kind of see. It's like a very pale yellow. Yellowish white. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. It has like this, uh... It almost feels like it's cream cheese, like kind of like a uh, cream cheesy texture on it. But I do see what they mean about their like creaminess. It's very light, like, I really enjoy this actually. <laughs> oh, hi. Mmm. Okay, I will sit there and snack on these. So I'm, gonna sh I'm gonna shut that. And then go on to the next snack. Don't, don't, don't get into my snacks. Oh, this one has a cute character on it. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is what it looks like. It's called... Cookie Run Strawberry Star Snack. Relish, relish the magic of Cookie Run in every bite of the Strawberry Star Snack. It is a magical, or sorry, it is a mega hit Korean mobile game famous for its adorable characters. And this is a puff coated in delightful strawberry chocolate. Oh, oh, Michelle would love this. Festus is trying to attack the camera. <laughs> no, sir. I think another reason why I'm enjoying this so far is as I'm looking in the back, like look in the back, in the box, um, I'm noticing like there's either multiples of things or like it's actually like there's enough where you can actually share. And like oh that's the that's oh these are big. Oh my goodness. Like I really appreciate that actually. So basically. I can get it to focus. 
I have done this before. You can kind of see it. My, my light's a little too bright, but it's really dark over here. They kind of remind me of cherry blossoms. So, it smells delicious. Mm. It kind of has like like the Captain Crunch uh, shapes. It kind of has that texture to it, but like. sweeter. Like, it's not overwhelmingly sweet. It's actually, like, a good level of sweetness to it. Like, it's not, like, what's the word? It's not overwhelming. But it is very good. It is very delicious. Mmm. I like the fact that they give you like the uh, name for it and it's not like a huge guessing game of like this is like might be the snack you're going for and it has a picture and it's big enough for you to actually read we appreciate that so much next I'm kind of going down the line but also like skipping here and there next we have These are Solbing Enjolmi Solbing Enjolmi Mochi Jellies. This snack captures the essence of Korea's beloved Enjolmi rice cake combined with a chewy te texture of mochi and the rich flavor of soybean flour. This treat promises a unique sensory experience. So I'm gonna be real honest. <laughs> And I already catch kind of a little bit of flag from both Spencer and Michelle, but mochi is not my favorite snack thing, but I'm also a huge texture person. So this will be interesting to see how this goes. I don't know if it's going to show up at all. It kind of reminds me of lemon drops. like with the color and the size. There's a little bit of a smell to it. Reminds me of something. The taste is very light. Like, it's not too overwhelming. It actually tastes really good. It's just, for me, the texture is still a little too much, even with it being so small. But that's just me. I'm a huge texture person. Person? Person. So, like, while they taste really good, probably not my go-to snack. Like, I'm very interested in, like, the actual, like, rice cake. I can eat rice cakes, but not mochi. I know. Weird. But, not my cup of tea. I'm sure someone else would like them. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna go... Oh man, these are gonna be fun. And a little bit less, I'm sure. Oh, I'm just looking at everything in the box. Okay. Ooh, we got a Hershey's product here. This is what it looks like. And I want to say, before I continue, this is not sponsored. This was just willy-nilly out of curiosity to see. But I can honestly say, so far, I'm very impressed. I love this so much. But yeah, so, this is the Hershey's Hershey's Chocolate Almond Rice Cake Pie. 
Dive into a delightful fusion of flavors. This treat combines the rich taste of Hershey's chocolate with the nutty allure of almonds. What sets it apart is the chewy texture reminiscent of Korean rice cakes, which I love Korean rice cakes. They are delicious. I think the other half is in the bag. Let's see kind of what it looks like. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah, that is. <laughs> but like, that's more cakey than rice cake. Like, I would say this goes for me right after the uh, crunchy uh, corn cream cheeses or teas. So right after that, and then it goes the strawberry star stack from Cookie Run, and then the mochi. I have a feeling the mochi might be lower on my list. I'm sorry ahead of time. Hmm. I think next I'm going to do the Furro. Who's that cute character right there? Churros cheese cream. There's a lot of cheese cream. I love it. Um, I don't know anything about the character except for Sigmund from Stray Kids actually uh, dressed up for him two Halloweens ago for a video. That's all I know. But it says another comic inspired snack. This treat is not just a feast for the taste buds but also a nostalgic journey back to cherished childhood memories of Pope. For a row. I'm probably butchering that. I'm so sorry. The beloved animated penguin character. Oh, my goodness. oh man. Yeah, that's that's gonna be messy. So I'm gonna keep that. And there it is, kind of like a churro. Mm. Oh my goodness. That's actually really good. I do enjoy cinnamon sugar though. Ooh. It has that kind of like that cream cheese like thing I was saying for like the conchi corn cream cheeses or cheese. <laughs> Sorry, there's <laughs> that extra E is throwing me off. Uh, it kind of has that in the middle. So like that hits your taste buds and it just kind of sings. I really enjoy that actually. Oh no. That beats the Hershey's almond cake or rice cake for me or pie. Yeah, that be that beats that. Alright. It's like I'm Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the drink. So this is the Kind of works. <laughs> this is the Teasel Sparkling Yuja Green Tea. This sparkling beverage combines the refreshing zest of Yuja with the smooth qualities of uh, green tea. With its vibrant citrus notes and calming green tea undertones, the drink refreshes your palate. I don't know what Yuja is. I'm gonna look that up. Okay, so it's kind of like a lemon. It looks like a lemon. I will have to, it's like thicker though, like it's rounder. Interesting. Tastes like lime, lemon, and orange. Oh, wow. Yuja is a tart Swedish citrus fruit, a taste of between lime, lemon, orange, and grapefruit. Interesting. It's like an upgraded Sprite. Definitely get orange, a little bit of grapefruit. Oh, okay. That's actually really good. Like, 
not normally leaning towards green tea, but that's amazing. I might have to find a way to get that to me. Now, for the next one, making sure I grab the correct item, which I think it might be. Alright, it will be the Five Grains Chocolate Peanut Bar. This snack combines chocolate's richness with a with the nutty goodness of peanuts. What makes this treat stand out is is its incorporation of five grains, adding to the wholesome touch in every bite. Kind of, so it's probably like a Nature Valley bar, maybe. Oh. Oh, that's chocolatey. That's very chocolatey. Mmm. That's actually really good. It's not... Something I've noticed is like... Besides maybe like the Hershey's little pie thing... Is... Nothing is too over, like, over sweet. Like, it's a good combination of, like, 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 it's a good balance. I do like that, though. I don't think it beats most of the other stuff. It does beat the mochi jellies. I will say that. It does beat, beat that. But at this point, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Get another drink. On to the next thing. This one I do think I'm gonna have to take smaller bites for. But it is the s'more oh s'more oh god Molo. <laughs> that is quite the name. Then this little package. It says this snack, inspired by traditional campfire's favorite, combines the gooeyness of marshmallow with the rich, rich taste of chocolate. Keep it in the fridge, uh, in the fridge, 20 to 30 minutes before snacking on it. It was outside in the box. It was cold outside. I'm gonna snack on it now. <laughs> Mostly because. I, I don't want to wait. What? Interesting. It looks like, it looks like it's on a saltine on the back. <laughs> this is going to be messy. It kind of reminds me of because I didn't get really much any like any chocolate whatsoever. It kind of reminds me when you do s'mores in the microwave, whenever you you know can't go out and do a fire and you don't want to do it over the stove. Where some of the marshmallow gets like super hard. It kind of reminds me of that, and surprisingly. I think this falls to last and the, the mochi jellies are actually not the last anymore. So that's surprising. Yeah, that was, out of everything so far, I think that's been like the one, like, and the one thing that I was like, not as impressed, like not, not as, I don't like that as much. If that's one, or technically two, but like, one out of everything, like, I will, I can't complain about that. All right. So there are, there is, so far one thing I can't do right now, which is the noodles. 
Like, I got a whole pack of noodles here. <laughs> These are Festival Janchi noodles. And thankfully it tells you how to go about preparing it, which is actually really cool. And like tells you how to make the sauce. Oh, that's really cool. Huh. Oh, so now we are going on to the sweet crunchy homemade croissant. I do love the croissants. It looks like someone like stepped on it. Oh, <laughs> it's flat. <laughs> it's a flat croissant. This treat marries the buttery layers of traditional French croissant with the signature Korean crunch, offering a unique snacking experience, which makes sense why it's flat, because it's more crunchy that way. Uh, crafted with precision and passion, every bite transports you to the romantic streets of Paris, straight to the vibrant heart of Seoul. It, it's not just a snack, it's a journey of flavor and texture that celebrates global culinary craftsmanship. I love that. Like, that was beautifully worded, actually. <laughs> like, I am excited to take a bite out of this. If I can open it. There's a reason why I actually was prepared this time and actually, like, pre-opened the box. Now I'm having issues opening everything else. Ooh. So it does have that croissant smell. Which is always so good. Oh wow. So it it melts in your mouth. It does have a little bit of crunch, but it's not like hard. Like it's still soft. I actually really like that. Like that's actually really good. Um, I would say I'd probably put that. Hmm. Definitely. Um. Uh, right below the. Uh, Poro Ro, uh, churros cream or yeah cheese cream. Like, it, it's a good flavor. I love that. Okay. Next. Gotta get into the packaging. I also like I also like the fact that like it's not too much extra packaging. That's kinda nice. Ooh. It's, a ma it's like a matchbox. Oh my god. So these are the milk caramels or caramel. That a little closer. There we go. As a staple in Korean confectionery, uh, this is this is this is not only a nostalgic treat for many, but also a testament to the timeless appeal of milk-infused caramel caramels. A melt-in-your-mouth sensation hard to resist. It's mostly why I was like, should I be going for the caramels next? Sometimes I take a little while to get through. They're super tiny, so maybe not too bad. In the packaging. All of them are individually packaged. Or wrapped. Ooh. What it looks like. It definitely is very good. Like, it's definitely your typical, uh, Caramel flavor. Let's try to get in the snack. <laughs> but yeah, it's a caramel, so not too overwhelming, not too bad. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Since it is just a caramel, I'll probably put it above the mochi jellies and the mallow. Just because like it's not too, you know super fancy or nothing. It's just, it's just that. Hmm. On to... <laughs> Thankfully you can't see that. 
All right, on to the Marin cake, which also seems to have gotten a little smooshed by the drink, but that's fine. So, Marin cake. And again, if I'm mispronouncing any of this, I am so sorry. This cake often... Sorry, this cake offers a harmonious balance of nutty Marin notes and moist cake layers. It's a delightful representation of Korea's love for chestnut-infused desserts, which forest turn... Wait... Sorry, chestnut infused desserts when forests turn into red and orange. Ooh, so perfect for fall, it sounds like. I don't know if I've had a chestnut flavored snack before. So this should be interesting. So I'm gonna get the snack. Go. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm only bringing it out a little bit because I- uh, That's why. That's why I'm only bringing it out a little bit. It's like a sponge cake. Sponge cakey texture. Let's see, it looks like I have Looks like I have two more snacks. Okay. So I'm gonna go on to there there's actually three of these in there. Again, I appreciate the extras. Like that kind of worked. <laughs> these are a sock oh my goodness. So sorry. A sock basak uh rice crackers. It's Hard to resist savory crackers. This snack is the perfect choice. This snack is the perfect choice. Its delightful crunch and authentic rice flavor makes it a convenient delightful. Uh, sorry, a convenient delight for a quick munch. I do like crackers. Crackers are delicious. If I can open it, <laughs> I'm an adult. Ooh. It's a pretty thick actually. Just trying to get it to not be so bright. <laughs> I It's like it's hard, kind of hard to bite into, but once you do, the texture of it is completely different than anything I've ever had before. And it's almost got like a sweet and savory taste to it. Like, I, I could get in trouble with these. I can understand why it's a, a convenient delight to, for a quick munch. I really like that one. Oh my goodness. I, wow. Like, you wouldn't think it's gonna be, like, too exciting because it's a rice cracker, but it's really good. <laughs> now, oh, I'm excited. This is a Pure House Spicy Tukboki Tukboki uh, Chew. This treat from Seoul, I'm assuming. I'm trying to remember, like, when I was, like, avidly learning. Pretty sure that's Seoul. I could be wrong. Uh, captures the essence of spicy tteokbokki, delivering a burst of heat paired with the satisfying chewiness. It's a modern twist on a beloved classic, making it a must try. I love tteokbokki. Like, that is one of my favorite things. So, very excited. Kind of reminds me of like fruit leather a little bit. Not much smell to it.
Huh. Definitely has that fruit leather consistency. Oh. The taste overall is very underwhelming. And like, it's kind of a gradual build as far as like spice goes, so it's not like instantaneous. Like I can feel a little bit on my tongue, but it's like very, very slight. Like it's not too overwhelming or anything like that. Um, so I'm a little disappointed. Like it, it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Now, as far as snacks go, I think that's it. So, for the snacks, I will say that conchi, con, uh, corn cream cheese is, uh, still is my favorite. Probably followed by the, uh, uh, where did I put it? Sorry, take me a second. Either the pork... Poro, sorry, Poro churros cream cheese or cheese cream or the sweet country crunchy homemade croissant as well as the drink. The drink was amazing. Now there are two things that are non-food related in here which is actually really kind of cool. So first off is this Metaheal Pepta, Pepta lifting, and man, y'all, this is really like <laughs> testing my ability to read. All right, Metaheal Pepta lifting Empul, Empule <laughs> mask. Um, the mask is an ample type mask that contains a six peptid complex. This mask, mask is designed to nourish the skin and enhance its elasticity. Whew. Best part, it, it features a skinny sheet that adheres closely to the face, ensuring quick absorption of the essence. Okay. And then, after that comes a this little egg. Got this egg. You know, you know. The Maple Story Monsters Keyring. The highlight of this month's Korean cartoon box is your mystery keyring. It's a delightful nod to the beloved video game Maple Story. I haven't heard of that. I heard of the candy. Oh, uh, wait, what was it? <laughs> yes, can or Cookie Run. Uh, each egg contains an icon iconic monster from the game. Discover how cute cartoon characters can be. It's not just accessories, but a statement of one's love for a nostalgic Korean game. Alright, let's see who we get. Oh, 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 oh. oh it comes candy! It comes with popping candy! I do love some good popping candies. Oh my god, this character's cute! I wonder if it's actually gonna tell me the. It, it does tell you the name of the character, but not. It, it says it in Korean. So I will not know the name of this character. If you play this game and know this character, please put it in the comments below. I'm very curious. But I can tell you, I already love this character. Uh, I don't even know it. But it looks like a little cat. It's got a little pop and popcorn and for those that know me is it it brightens there we go for those that know me know i love popcorn and caffeine it's got a little maple story thing to it too but yeah that's actually really cute i think that's my favorite keychain that I got today. I like it. Faso. Um, so that is everything that I got in my soul box 
signature box and honestly I really enjoyed this but like everything for this like it was well labeled like descriptions were great and like I pretty much liked everything like I still gotta obviously try the noodles at some point in the face mask see how I like those but like honestly I would do this again like I'm saying a like a lot but I really enjoyed this if you I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for you to be able to like go and check it out and whatnot see for yourself what you think I love the packaging I love that it's a decent sized box it's not too big it's not too small and there was quite the variety of things like I didn't feel like I was eating the same thing over and over again it's snacks that like I've never had before really like there were some you know that kind of had that like like ah oh, yes nostalgia feeling to it but it wasn't every single snack and that to me is super exciting and I feel like I experienced something new today I hope you did too so as always guys thank you all so very much for watching please remember to like comment subscribe uh, hit the bell for notifications share with your friends and we'll see you guys in the next video Okay, bye guys.